Hi, it's Julie from Norwex. I wanted to talk to you a bit more today about the toilet brush. If you use an ordinary toilet brush, it has nylon bristles. Those bristles will split and spread and they create lots of surface area where bacteria can breed. So first of all, because it's all split on the end, it's not cleaning the toilet properly. But that surface area that is created is just a breeding ground for bacteria. It's just horrible. And they drip. Have you noticed if you take your loo brush and you rinse it out and then you take it across and you put it in the toilet row holder, it drips. You're dripping toilet soup across the floor. <laughs> and then it will sit in its holder and it will drip away and there'll be a lovely tasteful puddle at the bottom. You really don't want that. The Norwex toilet brush is very different. It's made from thermoplastic rubber. So it's a lot more durable and it's a lot more flexible. And there's a lot of airspace between the bristles. That means that it can get in and clean properly and it's also allowing a lot of ventilation. So when you do put it to dry, it's going to dry very quickly because the air can get around it so it's not going to stay wet and harbour germs. It's also got this little, I think they call it an extension, <laughs> I don't quite know what I'd call it, it goes up under the rim. Now unless you clean under the rim of your toilet properly it's going to harbour germs but all around the rim of a toilet are our little sort of hose that water come out of to help flush the toilet properly all the way around. If those are blocked up, your toilet's not going to be flushing properly, so it's not going to be cleaning the bowl very well. So that is great for getting up under the rim. The only other way to do it, if you haven't got something like that, is don the rubber gloves and poke your finger underneath. We don't want to do that, girls, do we? We just don't want to, why should we? <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, so yeah, a couple of things about it. You just rinse it under the flush, a clean flush of water, rinse it, give it a shake and then you put it in the holder to dry. It sits way above the bottom of the holder so I don't know if you can see that. There's lots of air room for it to dry and the holder comes apart as well so if you do want to give it a good clean the bottom just pops off. I'll never do that. So you can Get everything lovely and clean but I've been using mine for about two years now and I haven't ever actually found any liquid in the bottom of it so that's really nice as far as I'm concerned it's an investment buy but my goodness when you think about all the germs that are in your bathroom that are lurking around <laughs> and the camera just fell over. <laughs> this is a clean toilet brush by the way I'm waving around. <laughs> Have a look in the catalogue. It really is a super duper loo brush. <laughs>